Um, first of all, I have to make an official announcement. Those of you who saw me play with the band um, last year, well, this was generally because I was playing the guitar because we were short of a guitarist, and I was the only one around at the time. So, well, I know, but I had to... Um, I'm telling you this because I don't want you to think um, this band got together, had a meeting, and thought, let's form a band. We've got all the players here. We've got the bagpipes. We've got the fiddles. Now, why don't we get, I got a fantastic idea, why don't we get a bald balded, middle-aged man to play the guitar? They didn't actually think of that, you know? Because you might have thought, they thought this was some kind of good idea. This is the remnant left over from this, really, so I do still play the occasional one. But I am slowly retiring myself, because I am actually the manager of this band. I'm not supposed to be here at all. But I did, a long time ago, teach my daughter how to clock dance. Well, yes, who well, apparently thinks, she now thinks she's better than I am. So we've been having a clog off on these things. We never know what side stage we're actually going to dance on, because it all varies, you know. And so this is improvised, basically, and uh, I'm going to take her on. Also, can I draw your attention to this t-shirt which I designed? <laughs> They're ten pounds. <laughs> Super Callan, Arterific, Celtic and Ferocious. I made that up. <laughs> then someone pointed out that was a dad joke. And I've been trying to avoid doing dad jokes for years. So not only have I done a dad joke, I've printed it on a t-shirt and I'm selling it for ten quid. <laughs> So it's either one extreme or the other. So here we are then, the clog off. Um, later on, I will be down there selling CDs. And it would be nice to, uh, for you to come and talk to me if you could. If, if you don't want to come and buy a CD, just come and say hello if you're over 50 years of age. <laughs> exactly. Because these people behind me, I have absolutely no idea what they're talking about after the time. You can't sit in the car and think, good grief, did you see that documentary about the Sex Pistols the other night? Because they just go, who are they then? What? Or what was the name of that Led Zeppelin album, 1973? You can't do anything. They just sit in the back of their car, tapping on things like this. <laughs> Drives me berserk. So, I mean, you know, just do come over and say hello. So here we are then, the clock dance. And uh, afterwards, Ang Harrod will be will be the kind of, not adjudicator, the, the facilitator of gathering your votes by cheers. Okay? We'll do Here a little we clap ometer afterwards, see who wins this clog off. It's been um, interesting. Um, you might think that, uh, well, we'll see, we'll see. Just watch that. And also, if you, feel, if you feel you'd like to applaud during the dance as well, by all means, you know, do so.
think you have completely whitewashed this summer. I don't think Bethan's won a single one this summer.